Today, the Minneapolis School District welcomes students back to the classroom. For some, this was their first day back since the start of the pandemic. Like other school districts across the metro, MPS is dealing with a shortage of bus drivers. A school spokesperson says there were a few transportation issues, but overall the day went quite well. We caught up with some parents at Bancroft Elementary in South Minneapolis this afternoon, just as school let out. I feel pretty good. The school does a good job of following protocols and the restrictions. So they've been here for a few years, so I'm comfortable with the staff. I'm happy kids are in school and that they're wearing masks in Minneapolis. Today also marks the kickoff of the district's new comprehensive district design plan, which among many changes sent many students to new schools. The plan has not come without controversy. However, the district says that the changes ensure a well-rounded education for all students. Superintendent Ed Graff says this is one of the most exciting days of the school year. I have to tell you, it's so exciting to be able to be in person with our students. You know, this is the first time since 2019 where we've had a first day of school in September. Um, so by all accounts, the schools that I was at, things were going very, very well. A lot of positive energy. MPS is also offering online learning to about 600 students. There are more than 30,000 students in the district. Students and staff are required to wear a face covering. Classes will begin for pre-K and kindergarten students on Friday. And the new school year off to a bumpy start for Robbinsdale area schools. The district today informing parents of major busing issues. While most students had access to buses today, district officials say nearly 1,500 students did not. With the district dealing with a shortage of bus drivers, parents were told that they would have to find a way to get their children to school until this issue is resolved. The school district's director of facilities, operations and transportation says this was a challenging day. But essentially, we have to tell the parents that, yeah, they need to find a way to get their child to school on their own. Um, there were 12 routes that we weren't able to have bus drivers for. And, you know, with the bus driver shortage and the market that we're in, there, you know, there just wasn't anything more we could do. The district says that it is taking full responsibility for the problems. This afternoon, a message went out informing parents that school buses are running very late. The district says, quote, we expect to do better tomorrow. Well,